in a series of small videos i am trying to explain what input tax is not available input tax for a gst dealer is a kind of uh, working capital basically whatever tax you pay to your supplier that is your money which is utilized for furtherance of business that is when you are selling whatever tax you are supposed to pay you deduct it and pay the rest or if it is lying in the balance you, you are keeping it as a input tax balance whenever sales happens furtherance of business i won't say that same product is bought and sold sometimes manufacturing also happens and uh, purchased goods are used in the process that is furtherance of business this is input tax and a restricted credit is the one thing which is bothering many dealers that's why i am behind this video making on input tax credit now section 175 section 70 subsection 5 clause c and d talks about expenses on building construction this is the very one more very confusing uh, input tax credit for many dealers many gst uh, registered parties registered persons now what it says section 17 subsection 5 clause c says that expenses included towards worst contract worst contract services when supplies of for supplied for construction of an immovable property other than plant and machinery very important i will tell you what is plant and machinery other than plant and machinery when where it is an input service for furtherance of supply of works except for furtherance of supply then second one is goods and services or both received by a taxable person for construction of an immovable property very important see i am a gst dealer i am constructing an immovable property factory for example my own factory for my own uh, business but it is a civil construction this is what i wanted to convey civil construction expenses is not allowed it is restricted again okay now for the purpose of clause c and d the expression construction includes reconstruction renovation addition alteration or repairs to the extent of capitalization very important say i am not constructing it new a new already there is a building i am doing some alteration renovation reconstruction or oh, everything is considered as construction so even if you do as any part of this whatever i said you are not supposed to take input tax credit for the supplies supply means goods or service whatever you take for the construction of the civil structure normally it is called civil structure now what is i said except plant and machinery what is plant and machinery then plant and machinery means apparatus equipment and machinery fixed to earth by foundation or structural support that are used for making outward supplies of goods or services includes such foundation or structural support but excludes again he says let us not get confused with plant and machinery and or let us not confuse others the department or something or uh, department or another dealer excludes land and building or any civil structure again they have clarified it and telecommunication towers and pipeline laid outside factory see it's very clear it is for your own factory your own business that is okay agreed but in this particular section in that sub section and clause c and d he restricts you you cannot confuse the department saying that this is plant and machinery this is this this is that this is for business only no 
it is restricted that is why they have put a separate cloth separate subsection otherwise they could just say whatever is used for the business or whatever is beneficial for the business or whatever is in the process of business no in the furtherance of business they said and structural civil structure factory building land and building is not part of the input tax credit it is restricted it cannot be part of the input tax credit it is restricted sometimes it happens so that rare cases a uh, construction company for example a construction company builds a factory he buys cement steel etc for construction of that civil structure one of the supplies for the construction service whatever he is giving is manufactured in this factory this is a one case i got here also we have to bifurcate very clearly what is used for the construction of the civil structure and what is used for our construction services given to others that is your business you can take input tax credit but we should bifurcate it both okay we should bifurcate it both and clearly identify what is eligible credit what is restricted credit and submit our returns then only department will uh, accept it and will not send notices so section 17 i have made two three videos small small videos just to trigger it is not to explain completely because i am making this videos on the point of view of general public also not just the tax professionals alone in that mode if i am uh, making a video then it will not be understood by all thank you so much